Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast with Phil Graham. We help you master Facebook ads and give you an unfair advantage over your competition. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast, episode 266. I'm Phil Graham. Today, we're going to be talking about eight keys to successful Facebook ads if you have a small budget. So we're going to be talking about ad strategies for small budget success. How do you get the most out of your money when you don't have a lot to spend on Facebook ads? And don't worry, for those of you who have large budgets, I have an episode coming out very soon for that. Also, some other episodes I have coming soon, I'm going to be talking about some of the tools I use that help us succeed in our business, especially with running ads. I'm going to have a $50 million client case study, kind of like a success formula framework that I share with you guys, and a lot more goodness. So make sure you guys always stay tuned. I'm excited you're here, though. Hope you're having a great week. And, you know, I was thinking about it. Ads are so awesome. Let's think about the time we're in right now. Inflation and prices are really high. Things are challenging. A lot of businesses need an edge because of these things. Ads are the edge that you need. They are what can give you an edge. They are what can give you an advantage. When you really think about it, there's nothing more powerful than ads because it gives you the quickest, best data. Usually, we can reach more people in a very short amount of time, sometimes days or weeks, than somebody might be able to reach doing organic in years. And even when it's organic, they can't really control who sees it. Whereas with ads, you can direct it to the exact types of people you want to see it. And you get clean data. It is so powerful. So make sure that you realize the opportunity we have. Prices for ads are still really good, in my opinion, and there is a huge opportunity. So while everybody else is freaking out about all the world craziness, use your edge. This is your time. This is a time you can succeed, and there's a lot of opportunity. So I'm very excited about today's episode. By the way, if you guys want to connect with me, if you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching so you can really learn this stuff the right way, or maybe you want somebody to actually run your ads for you, somebody you trust. For either one of those things, just go to my website, philgramdigital.com, or you can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital, and let's connect. We'll hop on a short Zoom call and go from there. So let's start talking about success with smaller budgets. So in many ways, being successful with ads on a smaller budget is a lot tougher than a larger budget because you have less to work with. However, I want to make it very, very clear. It is very doable. You can absolutely succeed with small budgets. Somebody came to me for consulting and they had heard from somebody else that unless you have 50 or $100 a day to spend on ads, you shouldn't even try. And I was like, whoever said that is literally insane and has no clue what they're talking about. I have seen literally somebody start at $5 a day and work their way up eventually to over $1,000 a day. And the only way they could do that was from sales. So it's not ideal to start at five bucks a day, but even that amount can help you. What a small budget is, is, is going to differ from everybody, depending on who you talk to. Some consider 25 a day, a small budget. Some consider 500 a day small. So a small budget is all relative. But if you just feel like you don't have as much as you would like to spend on ads, then this episode is really going to help you get the most out of that money. So just understand that it's very possible to have great success with really any kind of ad budget. You just have to be really smart about it. What most people do is they just kind of either listen to people that don't know what they're talking about spouting nonsense, or they gamble with their ads without actually having good data to make decisions off of. And you, you need, especially with a smaller budget, you need the best, cleanest data you have to make good decisions. So let's jump into it. I'm going to share eight tips and keys for success with small budgets. Number one, you got to get your mind right. So many people will run an ad and like two days later, they haven't gotten a lead or a sale 
and they freak out and they turn it off or they change it. This happens so often. That is a big mistake. We've had lots of ads that have gone on to make a lot of money that didn't initially make money right away. It took some time. It's not abnormal for it to take a little bit of time. So you need to get your mind right. You need to make sure you're not turning off an ad too soon. We've had situations where an ad has made in the millions of dollars and it didn't do that right away. And if we would have turned it off after the first couple of days or first couple of weeks, we would have been turning off a million plus dollar ad. So you've got to be very careful. And this is where you have to build your skill because at the same time, you also don't want it to run too long and you don't want to waste money either. But I will say, after talking to thousands of people over the years, most people definitely turn it off too soon rather than let it run too long. So be very careful, get your mind right, know that you need to let it run, you need to get some data and then make unemotional decisions based off of that data. So that's number one, get your mind right, you guys. Number two, you want to test and use different objectives, add objectives, and you want to use the right ones. So conversions is definitely my favorite objective. However, it may not always be the best one if you have a small budget. Some of the things that conversions needs to really work well are a larger budget and a large audience. If you don't have both of those, that might not be the best ad objective. It still could be, so you want to test it. However, I would definitely be testing traffic with link clicks as the optimization for a smaller budget against a conversions campaign and see which one does better. Don't just assume that conversion is going to do better because sometimes, especially with smaller budgets, traffic or another objective might actually produce better results for you. So test a traffic ad. Number three, do not set it and forget it. A lot of people think they can just let Facebook kind of manage what happens and they'll just kind of go through the audience and find people that'll take an action. That's not really how it works, especially with smaller budgets, even with larger budgets, it doesn't work that well in the first place. We have found that when we actually write good copy and target things and make decisions based off of data and test and make all the changes on a consistent basis, it's so much better. We make so much more money and have better results than if we just run something and hope Facebook finds people that'll take an action. There's no way Facebook can know what's right for your individual business amongst billions of users, especially when you have a small budget. If you're highly skilled, you should be having the most amount of decisions and control in your hands so that you can have success. If you're not highly skilled, your best thing to do is to get highly skilled and you're in the right place for that. So that's good. But don't just set it and forget it. That does not work. Number four, I definitely recommend you guys leverage video ads and not just video, but great video ads. A lot of people think just running a video ad is what it takes, but there's good and bad and great videos. So you want to do the great kind. You don't want to do spammy sales pitches. You also don't want to do boring videos. So use my formula. When you create a video ad, you want to educate, you want to entertain, and you want to inspire in that video. Also, you want to keep it less than 60 seconds. And then you also want to have a hook at the beginning of the video, the very beginning, you need to hook people. So they keep watching. I've done episodes in the past about how to create great video ads. So if you haven't heard that before, make sure and go back and listen. I'll do more in the future because it's so critical to people's success. But definitely leveraging video ads can help you take your money further. Because even if somebody watches the video, but they don't click right away, you can still retarget them. And that can be very powerful. There's like multiple ways of retargeting them with a video versus an image. So I really like videos. Make sure you guys do that. Also, the no like and trust factor can be greatly enhanced and that can happen quicker. A lot of times when you do video, it depends on the type of video, of course, but it's very doable. Even with audio, for example, you guys are listening to this podcast. And if you've listened for any length of time, you probably feel like you kind of know me, you have a good feel for me. 
that wouldn't have been the case if you just read a transcript of all my podcasts, would it? Or if I just did blog posts instead of this podcast, you hearing it, you hearing how I talk and my emotions and all that stuff helps you to get a better feel for who I am. And video and audio can do that for you when it comes to your ads with your audience, whether that's you personally in the video or somebody else, it's just so powerful. And so I highly recommend leveraging video ads. It'll definitely help your money go much further in most cases. All right, number five, you should be testing multiple audiences, both small and large, segmented and broad. And then number one, let them run long enough, of course, and then compare what the CPMs are, which is the cost per thousand, as well as the click-through rate and then depending on what types of ads you're running, maybe the sales that you're getting and or the leads that are coming in. And you really want to compare because if you can find a combination of a, a good audience that brings in a lower CPM, a higher click-through rate and brings in a result that you want, whether that's just views or sales or leads, then you can scale that to the moon and you can figure out how and why that happened and do more of it but you've got to be testing these different things in order to make that happen. And when you have a small budget, you can't always test it all at once. You might even, even be able to just do one at a time or two at a time. However, when you test these and you start getting smarter, that's where you can really make your money go further and have so much more success. So make sure you guys are doing that. Number six, definitely I recommend testing some lead ads or messenger ads where the call to action keeps people on the platform, on Facebook and on Instagram. So for them to actually respond to your ad, they don't even have to leave Facebook or Instagram. They can do it right there in Messenger or on a lead form on the platform. That can be helpful because number one, sometimes you get more of them. And number two, you definitely get cleaner data because Facebook knows everything that happens on their platforms. And so if the call to action is on the platform, you get much cleaner data. So especially when you're in the early parts of running ads or you're testing some new things, the cleaner the data, the better. And so once you get cleaner data and you see what's working and what's not, you can more confidently scale that out. We still run probably 70% of our ads off of the platform to our own landing pages. And I recommend you guys do that as well but I would definitely be testing some lead ads and messenger ads with some of your budget, keeping people on the platform and really evaluating that data like a hawk, like just like crazy, get really good at evaluating that and then scaling and changing and adapting to what that data is telling you. All right, number seven, make sure that you guys test various ad angles. Really, Ad angles can mean the difference between your failure or your success. It's one of the things I do so much for clients is I come up with different angles that we could use in an ad and we creatively tweak what we're saying and what we're doing. And then we look at that data to see what works and what doesn't. Anybody can run an ad. You could literally have a 10 year old know how to run an ad in terms of putting stuff in the right box and hitting the green button to go. What's successful is doing it in a smart way and being effective and highly skilled at running ads. Just like anybody could play basketball, but very few can, can get paid millions of dollars to play basketball because they're not skilled. So you need to make sure you're getting skilled at things like ad copy, what you put on your ad, what you put on your landing page and coming up with some angles for your ad, not just general stuff, but really different angles, different pain points, different way of, ways of saying things can literally make the difference between failure and success. I've had ads where we came up with a different angle or even just using the same angle, but a different headline or a different way to start the ad or a different image. And it produced a result that was like 300% better or even more. So these are very important ways that you can get the most out of your budget, regardless of whether you have a small or large budget, but especially if you have a small budget. So think about what some ad angles are that you can use that are pain points for your audience that you can test and then start putting those into action and then test those and tweak and adapt. 
And then last but not least, number eight, A-B-T-I. What does A-B-T-I mean? It means always be testing and improving. Make a commitment because you need to have great targeting. You need to have great ad copy. You need to have great landing page copy. You need to be highly skilled at evaluating data. And you need to tune out all the noise of all the fake gurus that are promising all this crap that's completely false. So you need to really focus on testing, improving, and data. And when you do that over and over and over again, and you get really good at it, you'll see why ads are so great and why this is such a great time that you should be leveraging, my friends. So episode 266 is in the books. I hope that was super helpful for you guys. If you want to connect with me, again, philgramdigital.com is the website. You can DM me on Instagram at philgramdigital. I would love to hear from you. I love hearing from all of my listeners, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you on the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Facebook Ads Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and share this with all your friends. For show notes, more tips, and to learn more about Phil, please visit philgramdigital.com slash podcast.